not your average tabletop. Woohoo! Welcome to Not Your Average Tabletop. I'm Zach. And I'm Pepper. And today we're going to do another video on Take My Money, where we look at some current crowdfunding uh, campaigns going on, whether they be Kickstarter, GameFound, uh, or other things sometimes. Um, and we talk about what we what we think of them. Yes, um, and today we have a whopping 12 projects. We're going yes. to fly through them. We are going to have to fly. And yeah, let us know in the comments below which ones you are looking forward to, if any, or which games you're hoping to that will arrive soon. I actually just had one arrive today that I've been waiting for for a little bit, but I think it made it on time, which isn't always the case with these things. So note that going in. If you've never backed anything on Kickstarter GameFound, sometimes the dates they give may not be when you receive the thing. So just know that going in. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, first one we have here is one that, I mean, we got to fly through these things. So I say we skip this one entirely. <laughs> this is not our type of game at all. That is very fair. It is, yeah. Among cultists, murder mystery thriller board game. Yeah. Not against like the murder mystery thriller type thing, but it's like a what is it, social deduction yep. style game. Yeah, it's for higher deduction, player counts. Secret roles, uh, murder mystery, but no player elimination in this, this one, good. which can be one that uh, a part of many of these types of games that does hurt it for us a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I do really like the cover, so I was slightly disappointed when it was uh, uh, more a genre of game that we aren't interested in because I did, I was drawn in by that cover initially. Mm -hmm. but yeah, a lot of people do really like it. It's got 2,300 backers, over 140,000, and still a week to go at the time of this filming. Yeah, so, but yeah, yeah so I, I think most of it looked good. I mean, it relatively good it made me for some reason it made me the little bit i looked at it it made me think a little bit of clue i don't know why but um yeah, yeah. other than that i mean look decent enough but yeah just yeah, kind just, of moving around the board does make me think of that right um and then yeah you just i think trying to <laughs> yeah that it solve something and then trying not to die and then you could find out you were dead I didn't fully understand exactly what was going on there, but um, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure there's... Yeah. Yeah. It makes it's, sense if you're playing it, but... Yeah, um, it's there are a lot of these type of games, but from this quote, I'm getting tired of social deduction games, but this one stands out. That's from Tom Vassell of the Dice Tower, so hopefully this one does stand out. This isn't the... This has been out before. I think this is yeah. kind of a second printing with a new expansion. So there are there's a lot of content on it, I'm guessing. So if this is your type of game, I would go check that out. I would not listen to us as we right. have just very briefly looked at this Kickstarter page. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. it was like a four player minimum and that's just not really the style we're typically going to play. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. kind of the outlier of our game playing usually two to three players is what we play at so yeah just right off the bat it's just up against a, a big battle got a big battle win for us but I think yeah. the price looks yeah. decent enough so you can get the average new expansion for like 30 bucks or a base game for 54 bucks or pretty much everything for 135 bucks which or it looks like you get three expansions a base game um and additional couple things so it's not that bad of a price um you do get a puzzle and a some wooden tokens to upgrade your game along with every pledge i believe of this so that's pretty cool um, but yeah this is looking to deliver when september 2024 which yeah i think it's I mean, it's adding some new content, but I think it's a reprint, so hopefully that should be doable. Yeah. And the next one is a Photo Tour North America board game. Oh boy! I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to say it, but I feel like I've seen this game like at least ten times. I was gonna say I feel like we've covered <laughs> at least five different games just like this. <laughs> uh, in our Take My Money series. 
And <laughs> right. It's like, oh, go travel and take pictures of these locations and score points for that. And it's a good theme. Uh, it is. It's, it's, it's good and it brings out great artwork typically. It does. And that I think the that's thing. the case here too. That is. So, that's what keeps yeah. these games going. It's, yeah. it, it, it's a good theme, but it's been used quite a bit lately. They are lucky that it just really gives them the chance to showcase amazing artwork. Mm -hmm. Which this one does. This and it's got, still, still doing well. I mean, people aren't sick of it yet. Yeah, 1,200 backers, two weeks to go, uh, over $80,000. Um, and this one, yeah, it just looked pretty similar to a lot of games that we've seen. Mm -hmm. Just kind of go around to different locations that have uh, tags on these cards, and then you can pretty much fulfill those cards, gain points uh, in that way. I think you can get additional tokens to improve uh, the places that you visit. Um, it didn't seem gameplay-wise that different. Um, I did like, yeah. I think you said there was some kind of engine building with the different locations Oh, that you yeah. do go the to, bottoms. they get added to your mat, and you can use those actions in the future. That made me think of Wingspan, or it could be any engine building game, but that's one that I'm familiar with, and so that seemed cool, and uh, like I said, yeah. the draw of this game I think is going to be the theme and the artwork. Yeah, I would agree, and uh, I think I was looking, and apparently this guy had released the uh, Pacific Ocean card game, the oh. pocket game that we looked at, I think, last year for Take My Money. So It's funny that you mentioned that. I think he was the only one of all of this list that I did look at what he'd done previous, previously, and I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> I had just seen that he did one, ex one before, and it made me think, like, yeah. I wonder if this has been on here before, mm. and they canceled it and then came back and did it again, but... Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, so got some pretty good tokens, a bunch of yeah. equipment tokens, some custom meeples, wooden dice, pretty cool. Or you can upgrade those tokens to wooden with printing on them, or upgrade those meeples to even more oversized printing. Which um, I actually prefer yeah. the other ones. I'm going to be honest. Those ones. I was I was going to ask you that. Um, I think I do prefer these upgraded version, but. I would say this is already an upgraded version of a maple, so mm -hmm. I could see it being split on that, but luckily I do prefer the Super Deluxe. And then then metal metal first camera. player token. And I feel like we've had the first player token of a camera before. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe not. Um, I, I think we have like one or two in our collection. <laughs> yeah, it's unfortunate it's not just this game it sounds like ragging on this game for it but um it's just been yeah a lot of them that have the map style like you said and mm -hmm. traveling from place to place collecting things taking pictures fulfilling contracts essentially um yeah, yeah. and it's a fun thing and it's all yeah. it's very approachable it's something very family style game which yeah. is i think why they can do so successfully um you could probably get this one and maybe with those, you know, engine buildy type things on the bottom, maybe it'd be a little bit too much. Um, but for, I know a lot of these seem to be the style where you could probably play with, you know, family members and they wouldn't be totally, you know, freaked out yeah. about the game. Yeah. Yep. Um, I do like the kind of movement on the map. It's got a, I'm guessing no. to do with a different train type. Uh, it's accessible by different uh, types of vehicles that are on these dice that you roll. So a plane can, I assume, go from any spot with a plane icon to any other spot. The cars, I believe, can travel, I think it says here, on the dotted line or just a straight line, while the bus has to go only on just the plane solid line. So I thought that was pretty cool, that movement. Uh, hopefully it's yeah. not too overwhelming. Right, like and hopefully it's not ways. too like left based. Like, hopefully yes. you're not like, oh gosh, if I don't roll this, then I'm really gonna be messed over next time, because yeah. that would be kind of frustrating. But yeah, I well, I, I think it is a market that you can choose from, so it'd be the same for uh, everyone. But um, I could see it kind of lining up in one person's favor. 
Right. But yeah, so price wise, if you just get the Kickstarter regular edition, that's going to be 45 bucks. If you do want those deluxe, that will be 66 bucks. Uh, or you can get it with the expansion for 74 bucks. So it's 74 bucks for a deluxe game and an expansion. It's not that bad, I don't think. Um, but like I said, mm. doesn't really stand out that much to me. Yeah, I, I would agree. That's I think that's kind of where um, for the longest time, most of the time, I'd be like, oh yeah, get get everything and whatever. But if I was getting this, I'd almost debate just getting the retail version. But then at that point, I would just wait and hope that yeah. it actually came to retail and could probably get it for that price, maybe still without shipping. Because the shipping yeah. seems to always be what ends up putting it over because now it goes from $40 to $52. And it's like, oh, if it comes and to retail and I'm just getting retail, it'll probably be below that. One of the more expensive games in your collection, and it's like, does it really warrant that? To what we see, but mm -hmm. I'm guessing this is going to be. I think it's a pretty good game. It's just, yeah, not one we are willing to go out and add another to the collection for. All right, yeah, we have several games, so way too, uh, way too many games. <laughs> so yeah, it's a, it's a little bit different. If you've got a small collection, I think that one is a very safe yeah. feeling pick. Yeah, kind of like these. I think these are more on the safe side as well. Uh, the Nature Games Trio, Sunrise, Snowfall, and Floriferous Pocket yes. Edition. Pocket Edition. If it wasn't small enough for you, you need a smaller <laughs> version. It's got 491 backers, 20, almost 28,000 over two weeks to go. And mm -hmm. we usually have a few, sometimes every now and then, a few of these projects which have a bunch of different games within them and I think these three the first one sunrise at the studio it's about pottery and uh, crafting those from what i saw mm -hmm. looks like fantastic artwork um, i assume through all three of these um, i guess what mm -hmm. it's gorgeous pottery pieces yeah i think you're like this is drafting set collection yeah, drafting the cards and then using the materials you got from that to kind of fulfill the contract. So I think this one's going to be on more of the approachable side, family weight side game. Um, it looked looked good, looked solid. It just yeah, it's another another one of those small games that it's like it, it feels like maybe for us we have some of these in our collection, but yeah, um, yeah, if you don't have many games where you're I don't know drafting or I feel like this it might be lighter than most of them that we have, maybe. Yeah, I would think a little bit. Decided oh. so maybe point salad. <laughs> yeah, it, it's Pretty probably light. that low. Yeah. yeah, it looks good. Yeah. And they have a Snowfall Over Mountains, which is a solo challenge from renowned tile lane designer Scott Caputo. And Melissa Caputo, I heard their name. I forget where I've heard it from. I guess what games are you familiar with from them? I forget, but I know I know the name. Now, let's see. You keep talking. Beautiful wintry artwork. And this one just looked like just a puzzle, a solo puzzle of Tile Lane, which I, that's my favorite part about Carcassonne, other than sneaking into. Uh, giant cities that we are creating is just creating the landscape and making it all work together. So to have just a puzzle that might be something similar to that had me interested. But then I was seeing these paths that kind of lead off into nowhere. And I'm like, is that a legal placement? Is that just messes with my brain? I could not be I think that's a negative point. <laughs> if I created that, I hope it's negative points. I hope it's pretty much just screws up your whole game. If you have even <laughs> one path leading into nothing. That's it looks nice. like he helped at least with Whistle Mountain. Oh, yes. Yeah, Whistle Stop, right. yeah. Under Tory, Sorcerer City, Scott, anyway. Nice. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. I think, I think that's where I saw something. What was the other, what was the other one? Uh, Melissa uh, Caputo. 
Mm-hmm. Unrelated, I'm sure. Right. I, I would I would guess so. Yeah, I, I think that one was probably my uh, favorite of the three. Looks it like, looks like they have... that was Snowfall. That was the first one. Oh, yeah. Looks like they have mini expansions for uh, these as well in here. And then Florifit. Florifit. Pocket Edition. I'm so small, I couldn't even read it, honestly. Um, <laughs> That's why. But yeah, this is a smaller version of the game. Because it does mm. exist currently. Is it just straight up the same game? I believe so. Okay, I thought so, but I didn't. I didn't see anything that said it was different. Um, but yeah, that's a, I just different production wise. I forget how much smaller they said it was. About half the size cards. Looks like about half the size box as well. So, if you want to bring it with you everywhere, I still don't think this. Will, maybe it'll fit in your pocket. It's a pocket edition. It's still a box, so it's not like a it wall. Fits. It fits got, in the pocket. You got, big, you got big pockets, and you cannot lie. Then you can bring this game wherever you want. That is true. Yeah, I I haven't looked into floriferous much, um, but yeah, I these these always slightly tempt me because I'm like, ah, they all look pretty solid. But uh, I guess what was the price? Fifteen bucks for. Snowfall, 15 for the Pocket Edition, 25 for Sunrise, and all of them together for 50 And then, oh, boy. And then a bundle with their other games as well, a couple others for 80 which March 2025? Yeah. Um, that seems like a long time that does for such a long small time. game. Yes. Um, Are so, all of them that or just this last one here? It's like all of them. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, giving themselves some extra time, but yeah, it does still seem like a, a little longer than I would have thought for this style of game. Yeah. Especially since they've done projects before. Yeah, that that is a little surprising. That might be the latest of all of these projects that we're looking at. I saw a bunch that were um, pretty big projects that we're still hoping for like November, <laughs> December. Um uh, but, I mean, there's a lot here. At least it's a bunch yeah. of small things instead of just one. Mm-hmm. And hopefully it at least can hit that mark. Yes. Even more games. I think we have about 11 Holy games Holy moly. 20th century, century game. Import collection. 2024. Ooh, yes. The most important import collection that ever was. <laughs> 326 backers about two Let's weeks see. ago. 21,000. Not, like not like the same. Okay. A little, little fewer backers here, but a few more. Not the same amount of days. Never mind. Um, <laughs> so, but, yeah, this is, I think 25th Century is kind of, seems like recently they've been doing a lot of the publishing for other games, uh, bringing them to America. I think they even did, did they do the latest version of Raw? I think they uh, the one yes. Brought that back. I believe so. Um, or brought it to the U.S. I don't know if they did all of it, but I, I know they've been doing a lot of them recently. And uh, yeah, there's a couple. Well, there's a couple here, and then you can do some add-ons. There's two that they kind of highlight at least. Yeah, um, it's run, 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 run. Which I don't know if for some reason makes me think a little bit of uh, Subterra, <laughs> a little bit, not fully, but oh uh, yeah, um, kind of exploring did... this kind of tomb yes. area, and then mummies are coming out, and you had to. Get to them, defeat them before they get to the, um, I don't know what was it the yeah get to your your base or whatever base. it would be there and kind of moving Unleash towards that. evil yes evil 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 you have to manage your torches and get enough because I think if you go to new tiles you have to place torches on them and <laughs> if you cannot place torches you'll be uh, summoning the mummies faster which no does yep. not be good um, so it. As I was watching, the kind of came after those lighter games. And I was watching uh, this and how to play, and I was like, oh, oh there's yep. a good bit here to this game. <laughs> I just thought this was going to be a small, yeah, simpler game. But I'm like, it looks like there's actually quite a bit going on. Uh, it did mm-hmm. catch my interest. I do like 
I kind of let race against time. I do like the Subterra games. And like you said, it's very similar to that kind of thing as you're exploring out and I think kind of the placement of the tiles, trying to create uh, groups of three of the same symbol or one of each together can uh, gain you bonuses and get you towards winning the game. Yeah. Seemed like a cool little compact still, because it does still feel like a small game. It probably shouldn't. That's probably just my first judgment of it is sticking in my head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think it should be, should be decent. I, I don't know. That'd be one that I would back, but um, yeah, when I saw the title and the cover, it was, yeah, like you said, more to it than I had initially thought. Cause yeah, I was thinking, Oh, is this kind of some very light family game? And it looks like there's some more thinking to it. Yeah. And then the big seller here for you. Hamster roll. This when I saw it, I'm like, oh boy, I might have to have this. How does this work? Uh, and this one here, you are placing. So you, I got this wheel here. Yep. And it'll start with kind of that little black pointed pyramid in the bottom of it. Yep. Um, and then you'll be choosing to go one way, either having it go and kind of roll this way or that way. Yep. Um, by placing these wooden pieces. Uh, every player gets one set of each of those, and in a two-player game, you get two sets of them. Um, and then you're adding them into those slots. Mm, yeah, uh, those black things on there are stuck into the ring, yeah. so they kind of can hold the pieces. And then, as you add the weight, it starts moving it. And pretty much, what you don't want to do is have anything fall off, because yeah. uh, then you have to gain those pieces, and you're trying to be the first one to use all your pieces. Yes, and when I watched the How to Play, and they placed that first piece in there, and it just moved like crazy, way more than I thought it would. I did not expect that to move either. I was like, I was like whoa! whoa. <laughs> that was an aggressive move. So it it, it kind of shocked me there. and uh, It does have me interested. I mean, anything like this is just, just brings out the inner kid uh, of me, and I'm just like, okay, I want to play with that. Maybe it would get boring after a few minutes, but I I like kind of similar to Minara, just that dexterity, not wanting to set off this collapse. And this is kind of a right. twist on that as you're trying to keep the balance in a different way. Um, it's It looked pretty cool. A cool toy, at least. Yeah, it, it did. Uh, and there's one we're going to look at later that I thought looked cool and did not... Uh-huh. We may have played a version of it, and it did not end up as cool as I thought. Or, but this one, haven't tried it. I'd like to think that it feels cool. But yeah, like you said, I don't know if after a play or two, it'll be like, eh, okay, you know, I got my fun out of this one. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, and then they've got uh, some additional things you can add on, some more games. Five more games there. You can stack some bananas. Um, and you can get a Wolfgang Kramer game here, I believe. Of Vampire Queen, or you can get a Reiner Knizia game, or a game about peppers, or whatever that is. That might be a Reiner game as well. Is that the one so Mike that, likes with the? I think uh, the cockroaches or crickets or whatever. I think, I think so. The, yeah, something like that. And then or no, we have please. Actually, yes, please. Yep. Um, and then we have actually played Dracula versus Van Helsing on Board Game Arena, which. I enjoyed a decent amount. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. I was thinking it was going to be like unmatched and possibly be yeah. as good as that, but it, it can't compete with unmatched for us personally. So it was a slight disappointment, but I think these are both good games as well. Mm-hmm. Which actually yep. is pretty good price for two games, 35 bucks for that. Or you oh, can yeah. just Did get you everything. Get both um, I think so. Uh, yeah. Oh, it says that and that. Yeah. And, or just everything for 160 bucks, which would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven games and some extra bonus shapes. That's what I like to see. But yeah, this is looking to deliver. I do like the flat rate shipping of 14. Well, yeah, bucks, yeah, no matter how much you buy. So if you like all that stuff, that's a very good shipping I, price for is, all of it, for sure. That is the way to get it. Um, and going for May 2024. That is pretty quick. 
Very soon. Very soon. I have milk. <laughs> when I say very quick, I mean like after that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is really quick. Yes. So, yeah, they must. This is almost a pre-order. It, yeah, pretty much. Which is good. Get them yeah. quick. Yeah. A lot e. quicker than those floriferous pocket games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What the heck, man? Uh, they you have can't twice even place any games. piece of wood in there. They have twice as many games in that one, and they're coming in uh, two months, pretty much. <laughs> and then on to Eve, War for New Eden, board game adaptation of the iconic EVE Online MMO. Cosmic Chess. Make your first move today. $460,000 <laughs> nearly. Uh, 2,000 backers. Two weeks to go. And uh, this one, not going to be back in this one. That was my first impression. Just again, because uh, it's, we, we don't need this in the collection. We are never going to play it. We may play it once or twice. We right. will forget it between plays. Going to be a bit much. But if you really yes. like the game, the online game, uh, this mm -hmm. looks like it's doing a lot to bring that to the table. It looks very epic. Just it looks does like look a bit epic. too much for me. <laughs> yes, I, I would agree. A lot of these kind of bigger space um battle simulation type games um just always look like a lot but yeah the miniature and stuff look really 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 awesome uh so yeah it looks like it's going to be a pretty cool um pretty cool game when you get it but yeah it's it's one we would not probably get to the table very often it just looks looks like a lot it says it's only two hours which yeah I don't know if I believe that. Not including setup, I'm sure. Yes, it'll look like a lot of sin. Just the tiles and all of the... Yeah, that looks like a decent bit of setup. Mm -hmm. and there are 500 cards. Who knows if you have to shuffle all of those every game. Um, but yeah, it does... Looks pretty cool. A lot of the miniatures are unique for the different factions. I like that a lot instead of just being mm -hmm. a color. Um I but agree. also, it should keep the color difference because you don't want to have to tell them apart by shape. So, right. But I've seen it before, but that usually doesn't happen. But you need to warn against ever doing that. <laughs> Do not pick gray for all of them and have them look similar. Because, yes, it makes me think of Destinies when they don't even look that similar. And we still find out wait, why is the blacksmith over here? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. That's not a playable character. <laughs> Why did you move it? Yeah, it looks yeah, like it has a lot of... Double layered boards, I think, which are pretty cool. Those are yeah. always nice. Well, a lot yeah, of cool I... stuff. Just looks like basic space battle stuff of, of games that we don't really play that often. It all kind of blends together to me. Um, and then the the nail in the coffin for for not backing would be the price of 130 bucks for just everything you need to play. That's all you need to play. And then if you want a little more, you can go up to 236 with all expansion experience. A lot of people are doing thrill. it. Or you can go to a very relic increased pledge size version of the game. Uh, for Blow 430 bucks. So oh. it, if you want a bigger version, so this, there's the comparison of size to <laughs> the normal version in the <laughs> enhanced version. <laughs> I don't see this very often. Uh, <laughs> it's It did make me chuckle. Just that there's, you want a giant version? Here you go. <laughs> you want a giant version of this epic huge game already bam Same. we're gonna give it to you right off the bat we don't i don't think this one's been released before we don't even know if people like it but no nope, no nope. is... hopefully you yeah. like it because now you've got an epic piece you get your epic game epic... that you had to remove your door to get it in <laughs> to the house you get your super duper collector's edition special edition <laughs> anniversary edition Right off the like, bat. is that a ticket to right size box next to it? <laughs> I, would I assume, assume that box already has to be I big. I assume that's big. <laughs> and this is four times the size, nearly. 
Uh, but 83 people have backed that version. So I hope they have fun with it. I, I do that. I hope it's a great game and it's everything they want. It's just, I guess it, it does come from an existing game, video game. So yeah. it does have does the this, diehard fans. Does and, this publisher have previous projects? Oops. That'd be the scariest thing. I have 11 creators. 11 creators. Let's That's take good. a look. Let's go behind the curtain here. Okay. 3D printable war game. 1800 backers. It looks like they maybe do a lot of miniatures. Yes. So hopefully. Anyways, I don't really know these. So hopefully it'll be good. Yeah. Hold on. I'm going to X that out. So yeah, hopefully it's good. I guess when was this shipping? I don't know what these controls are. Our heads are above the, the bar, and I somehow keep putting it <laughs> on the screen in the reverse. December of this year, I think. December, yeah. Or I, I, maybe I'm just totally wrong here. I think this is going to take a lot longer than December. Yeah. Maybe not. So. I maybe not. think so. They Maybe they hopefully they have it all developed because I think I, I've just seen way too many companies with these big games not have the game fully done or very, very close to done. And then they launch the campaign and then it's maybe still years later you're waiting. Yeah. And I'm not saying that that's the case with this, but yep. Chipping might might be an issue. Might be an issue if you go with this super large version. <laughs> No, it's well, I mean, be they, quite a bit either way. I, I don't know how they're going to deliver it to you. So, yeah. so that's why it's so expensive. Just one per boat. Personal jet. <laughs> yeah. On to an even Something bigger. smaller. <laughs> a Dice Raiders. Unravel the secrets of the past with Dice Raiders. Print and play, roll and write, board and game that you will test your strategy skills will test your strategy skills. So, print and play game. 169 backers. Over 2,000 bucks. I'm always got to cover a print and play in this. You got to. Sepper's got to do it. Uh, I like the little comic. They put a little effort into uh, presenting kind of backstory or a little teaser for the game, especially since they didn't have a video up here. So, that was appreciated. Mm -hmm. I just think of Tom Vassell. With anyone wearing a hat, um, especially that guy. And I thought that the board here actually looked really nice. I thought there was a good amount of detail and just texture to the whole thing. Uh, that a lot of print and plays and even full on copies of verb and verb games don't always have. I mm -hmm. thought this looked really nice. Uh, yeah, I, I thought it looked decent, but I, I just couldn't really tell what was going on when this thing oh, do this yeah. and that. But yeah, Honestly, yeah exactly. it, it looks good. Rolls. It looks good. Roll the dice, and I think you choose kind of the icons, one on either side of the dice that you want to use. Then mm -hmm. you put them into uh, one of the areas that you want those symbols to be in. Not sure how they all score. If they could, right. I don't know if that information is here. If there's a rule book somewhere, I didn't look. Um, but then I'd have all the information I needed to play the game, so they probably <laughs> shouldn't put that. Uh, but yeah, you can get the this game for three, I guess, what is that? Year? Is that Euro? I think it's Euros. Okay. Yeah. So four bucks for that. You can get with additional stuff there, everything in their pledge with additional add-ons. So expansions to that game for nine bucks. A lizard pack. Oh boy. With two other games. So this base game and two other games. Mm -hmm. That and all in all of that stuff for 21 bucks, which we really need to get into print and plays. This is the most affordable way to get new games. So. <laughs> That's true. Uh -huh. Because, yeah, it's probably, it could be another, could be a good one. Looks like they've got maybe some other ones as well that you can maybe get as an add-on or something. They're like, but, all these, they look really nice. I really like the look of these boards. I do. All these sheets. Uh, just need to get a good printer. <laughs> I think that. 
Yeah. The worst part is all these detailed ones are going to use up even more ink than you're yeah. using about $70 That's true. That's of true. ink. This, it's going to continue <laughs> to cost you. Never mind. This is the worst investment you could possibly have is printing for the games. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, they look good. Look. Yeah. So, yeah. This is shipping. I guess this no is what Kickstarter there. is all about. It's going to be in March 2024 because you just print the files. Hopefully. Now I'd say it's so easy and then it'll just be absolute chaos. <laughs> Unprecedented <laughs> chaos. Print and play game. But yes, this is what Kickstarter is made for. I don't know if we had one of those last week. I don't know Forget. if we did either. We had like 16 projects. <laughs> I don't think we did. This, this might be it. This might be it. Yeah. And from Dice Raiders to Storm Raiders. Stall. Feel the stall. Raid, raid. Race, raid, and salvage across Atlantis to become the greatest storm raider in this wonderful game designed by Shem Phillips. So I can assume you've already backed this. I have not. <laughs> I have not backed this. They're falling out between <laughs> Shem Phillips and Zach. There may have been. There's some falling out, all right. It's the fact that he didn't send us a copy of this game. I don't know if what he I don't know what he has on for this. I know he works with Arcus Games. I don't know if yeah. um, he decides who they send it out to. They're a smaller smaller company even than Garfield. Um so I'm guessing they send all their stuff to kind of the biggest of the biggest uh, yeah. reviewers, previewers, whatever. Which should be us. Honestly, I mean, we should have gotten I mean, one. I don't get it. Yeah, like, I don't get it either. Top but... two, I think. <laughs> of the ones I know. <laughs> yeah, it's doing, yeah. doing pretty well. 125,000, 12,000 goal, 1,000 backers, a week to go. Um, yeah, I guess I don't. I didn't look at how this is doing like compared to like Garfield games, most of theirs. Oh, yeah. But yeah, Arcus is, I think, kind of... They do other games too, but I think they're also in uh, New Zealand like Shem is for Garfield games. And I think he kind of has brought them a couple games already, which are kind of ones that don't really feel like they fit the current Garfield games model. And I would agree. I would say that this also is one of those that does not feel like that. <laughs> um, yeah. It feels a bit different than what they usually have, but there are some things I could definitely see being Shemmy about it yeah um yeah, yeah I, I don't know there's this was one i thought i would back for sure right away but i think the price was just a bit more mm. than i wanted and yeah, that's so uh, that was the tough part standard edition is gonna be what 62 bucks you can bump that up to get a 3d storm miniature here uh, for 80 bucks and some other stuff obviously yeah which would be the version that I'd like to play with because that's the only thing that I've seen in any pro promotional right. content has been with uh, these upgraded components. So, yeah, 80 bucks is a bit much. Um, or you can go Deluxe Everything Storm Raiders. <laughs> I always slightly want to say Storm Riders. I don't know why. Uh, that'd be a hundred. Well, they're riding bucks. around. They are right. So that's three hundred that doesn't nearly four hundred backers for that everything. Six hundred mm -hmm. for the deluxe and only fifteen for the standard edition. Um, which doesn't surprise me. No. No. I think most would probably just go straight to the deluxe at least. Yep, yep. And uh they say proven track record. Two previous campaigns were funded in twenty four hours or less, and both shipped on time. I mean, Which, if you got the Shem involved, Shem's in involved, way. it should arrive on time. Because yeah, that was even. I've got one sitting right in front of me uh, that delivered um, ahead of schedule, just like I think a couple of his others that I've backed. Um, and obviously, those have been available easily available after the fact. I don't know about the Arcus ones, Arcus games, if they're as easily available. Um, but yeah, his have always arrived usually on time, if not earlier. So. He's involved with this. He's going to be helping them and making sure that 
they stick to as close as possible. Obviously, anything can happen, but yeah, um, yeah this one it's an interesting theme. Um, it's yeah, kind of Mad Max feeling. You're going around this map and kind of I don't know, collecting collecting different things. Yeah. It seems like completing, uh, fulfilling different contracts, sort of. As you're going around and then you're managing your board which I think is kind of the main gameplay of managing damage on these different three different vehicles that you can use. And uh, kind of like we saw those dice earlier that you could use them for planes, whatever, whatever. Wow, yeah. Similar things here where some can go on certain things. A boat can go from boat space to boat space. Um, but as you're playing those dice, they have to be in ascending order. And then as you take a pass turn, um, the number of the die determines how much damage you fix because you're taking damage. And um, so the higher you take, I think the more damage you clean up, but you all, the dice that you clear off when you're passing are only the dice that are larger than the one you just played. Uh -huh. so then you're clearing less off, so you kind of have to manage that too. Okay, so uh, yeah, I didn't look too much into the gameplay of this. I figured you'd have it covered, and it seems you <laughs> did. I knew none of that. Um, that seems cool. Uh, it's I don't know yeah. how that that feels like that. Okay, now I'm feeling the Shem influence here, <laughs> looking at that dice kind of management of your personal player board, which uh, looks pretty cool. I don't know. Hopefully, I think that will fit with the theme of the game. If you are drawn in by the theme, I hope that that does not detract from it. Yeah. Uh, if you're thinking it's going to be this wild cinematic thing and then you're really just like okay so if i do a four and get to clear the five and the six but then i get to heal this much i don't know if that's going to detract from it I, yeah i don't uh, nah. his games aren't the most thematic so it's interesting to be to see a game that looks like a very thematic game right but, yeah when I, when I had heard this one was coming um I guess maybe a little more excited about a potential like more of a dice chucker feeling game. Oh, yeah. And that's definitely as I've looked at this a little bit, it's not quite what it is. Um, but it I think it's can still be good. I'll see here. This this has been one that I've been going back and forth on. So I'm I'm still possibly gonna back it. It was just a little bit much. And then I see there's like this expansion that you can add on. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm always like, why is this not included in the base? Especially if the Make base is already in. six sixty, if yep. not eighty dollars for the deluxe. Just is like, really, you can just fit in that extra stuff for that price. But yeah, I've never created a game. I don't know how much it costs to do all this stuff. And the deluxe does look really good. And it's got double layered yep. boards and stuff. And Got a lot of solid components, so it probably does cost a decent amount. Yeah, yeah, I it probably does. It's uh, it was a little disappointing to see the price and expansions. I would think probably wouldn't go for the expansion. It seems weird since it's not that much added. What is it? Mini expansion for this one, fifteen dollars but mm -hmm. it's not being sure exactly where this game is going to fall into like is it going to yeah. be that's the tough part up there like if it's a shem game it feels like a shem game is it going to be up there with like your favorites with the new south tigress series is it going to be that good crunchiness or is it going to be something maybe a little lighter maybe a little more thematic is it just going to be somewhere in between where it doesn't fully satisfy you <laughs> or me right or is it going to be just a perfect blend of both of them? And it, it, maybe it will. Like, yeah, I, I have no, I, I shouldn't be doubting Shem. And I think it, if it was just a little cheaper, I probably would have backed it. I think it's just because I, I know that for this game specifically, I would go deluxe. And that's just, it's just tough. But that probably is what games are nowadays, I guess, with Wormspan, which I just recently got. That ended up being like 80 after I got the com extra components that they put with it for wooden components and stuff. So, oh, yep. and that's, that actually, I have not unboxed that yet. 
Uh, but that actually almost seems like it has less stuff than this does, less impressive things. So it's you maybe got the, you got tapestry for like I forget what price you got for your earlier discount. Oh, yeah. I think you got for that was that like yeah, ninety? Like, yeah, eighty ninety. I think. I mean, I'm like, yeah. I, I but, think you like Worm Stan has a little less than this, but that does have a lot of cards. I don't know if this has a lot of. Uh, cards and artwork yeah, I don't, in it. I don't know if it does. And yeah, shipping is going to be another 15 So then you're nearly $100. That's just it. That's just it. Yeah. And I know, see, I think I, I think in my head, I'm like, okay, well, Garfield games are usually uh, available after the fact. So then I wouldn't have to pay shipping necessarily if it was on Miniature Market or something. But I'm like, I don't know if the deluxe version is going to be available, though. So I think it's said that. Well, they always say it, but so deluxe edition availability only available purchase through this campaign and future crowdfunding campaigns. Uh, yeah. And then uh, probably their, maybe their website if they have one. Maybe they'll have kind of like an upgrade cheaper. kit or something like that. Uh, yeah, it's it. It feels like we have to get it. I know. <laughs> uh, it is just a little disappointing at the price. But I think it will be a good game. Like I mm -hmm. said, we can trust Shem. I think mm -hmm. he's been working on it for a while. Uh, should be perfect or right for what he's going for. And we yeah. should fully trust him. It's just a little expensive. But I think... I, I mean, think to be fair, there's we've made so worse... many Kickstarters that are yeah. been this price now. But it's just still hard to swallow, I think. We we've made worse decisions, I think. I, th <laughs> yes. I believe in. I think you'll pull through. I think you'll pull the trigger. I probably will. Shem's a good guy. He's a good so. guy. They're Look at him there. They're sitting on the table. They're good people too. I don't know any. I don't even know if Shem's playing the game <laughs> though. Sitting. He's just sitting with him. Here, take a photo, Shem. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do that. Then maybe we can get sent games. If we could just get a picture and have Shem in it with us, then <laughs> everyone will just assume. He'll say, "Oh, this." Oh, be there. Good. They're good people. It's got to be good. They're <laughs> good people, and this is going to deliver on time. <laughs> Earthborn Rangers, second printing, plus oh expansions. This is how it's supposed to go, expansions on the second go, although I'm sure there were expansions built into the first campaign. Too. <laughs> there may have been. 4,400 well. backers for a second edition? Are you kidding me? I'll have to That's see. A lot. Check the numbers. See how many are just getting the expansion. So that's the price. Twenty thousand, pretty Seven. good. Week to go, almost. Yeah, this one I will say I was interested in the first time I saw it come around. Did we cover it the first time. I don't know if we were doing this yet. Okay, I think it's been a little bit. I think it's been a couple of years. I don't know if we were doing take my money things yet, um, but we might have been. It would have been one of the earliest ones we did if we did. And yeah, I. <laughs> I'm still kind of interested, but it almost feels like it's just too open, almost to the point that it looks more like a role-playing game than a game, and I don't yeah. know that I'll love that. And then again, that all that paired with the price, and it's like, well, 80 bucks if I was going to get one game. of these two that we just looked at, I would get Storm Raiders over this for the prices. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because it's going to be 80 bucks for just the core game pledge on there. Or if you want to go all in, which I don't think we would if we did get it, it's right. going to be $205, which is a, a big ask. Right. But which I think like, they're making this one sustainably, and I think that's why yeah. it's a little bit yeah. pricier. Which, yeah. And that, that's totally fine. Um, it's just, yeah, it's... Definitely a lot if I've never played it and I'm already a little hesitant um, yeah. as to how much it'll feel like a game versus how much I might have to add to it more in a almost role play feeling aspect. Yeah, because I mean, there's they were showing, oh, you customize your character similar to a, an RPG, and I'm like, it looks satisfying and cool. Like, yeah. I love the idea of creating your characters, it looks like they're all different parts. To that uh, creation, um, to your character's background and uh, items that they may have, and I'm like, okay, that all looks pretty cool, but 
And then at the same time, after that, the gameplay wise, uh, it did seem, I mean, there is a direction that you can go and uh, have the campaign, but then they said, and it's, you can, and it's encouraged to just go off and explore and do your thing. And I'm like, okay, part of me is like, okay, that's cool. That'd be fun. But then at the same time, I'm like, ah, maybe I do want a little more story and a Correct. strict uh, experience. Right. Because, yeah, once if you have something like that, I'm assuming your story has to be at least somewhat confined because you can't have infinite story. <laughs> I would assume. You can have a lot, but I, it, to some point, I would think it would be difficult to make it a you know full-feeling story if you're having possible... Who knows how many branching paths. So. Ryan Lockett's going to hear this. He's going to take that personally. <laughs> and he's going to go create. Sleeping Gods 3. <laughs> A never-ending story. Earthborn Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do we even know who designed this? I do not know. It could be. For some for some reason, I'm thinking I think it is someone from Minnesota. Is it someone that was like with Fantasy Flight Games maybe or something? Uh, or maybe that's the person uh, whose company it is. Earth I don't know. Let's see. What do we got here? St. Paul, Minnesota. <laughs> got what, what was that? A little clap. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were going like this. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't really see it. <laughs> no, that would be disrespectful. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, it, it looks cool. I like the artwork in it. Uh, kind of like these cards, which are to your different tributes when you're, I assume, mm -hmm. making the test of some sort uh, or doing an action. These will apply to that. I'm sure exactly how it works. But just the idea of it interests me. That's about how deep I went into the game. <laughs> yeah, um, I didn't really look back into it too much because I... Figured it was going to be, uh, look like a big ask of a game potentially. Yeah. I might not fully be that interested in, but I, I think it looks good if it sounds like something that you'd be interested in. Uh, if you want more of kind of an open feeling game, I think this one is good. I think there's content on it out there since it's a second edition. So that's always yeah. good. It's always good when you have uh, people that have played it, you can go see what they think of it. Um, maybe get a better feel. I think this one's rated pretty highly too. So yeah, yeah, probably pretty solid. Yeah. On to another second edition. <laughs> Speaking of highly rated, yes, I think a lot of people rated this one pretty highly last year as they were getting their copies. Um, we have not played this one. This is one I thought we were going to back the first time, and then as I was looking at it, I'm like, I don't know if this is our style of game. I if. If the player count, uh, it's maybe better. I think I looked, and not that you can just fully trust BGG blindly, but just I think it was not recommended 80% at two player. Yeah. Which is mm -hmm. what we mostly play, which I don't know. That's probably like just one vote. <laughs> uh, but I really wanted to, to get this one just to get maybe that 4X experience in under an hour. Which they say you can. I'm like, I don't believe it. I still don't believe it. You can have six players and have that. I don't believe right. it. But they say it. They advertise it as that. They review it and say, yeah, it really is. And mm -hmm. that blows my mind. I don't know how you can do it. But I'm very interested in it. I just don't think it's really one that we would have the opportunity to play that often. I feel like mm -hmm. we could really like it. Uh, that's true it's just we just don't have that large of a group that consistently interested uh in this type of game uh, mm -hmm. which is disappointing because you do want to support roy candidates his design from the dice tower he's it's been true. there a long time we've been watching them for years probably like a decade now and <laughs> uh it's really cool to see him design a game and it just has awesome that's reviews success. And, uh, looks really cool. Uh, I really Although now it kind of creates some conflict between him and Tom Vassell since that's true. Now Tom, Tom's going to have to come up with something even better. Yes. That's now going to be tough to top. Yeah. 
that'd be fun. If everyone just, I mean, Mike, Mike, Mike was working on a game with oh, uh, with Dan Hughes, uh, Hughes, yeah. Um, so uh, it's going to be a competition. Uh, <laughs> Z and Camilla are going to release some probably do something horror themed game with horror. hatchets and. Uh, it's gonna be fun. But yeah, three hundred thousand dollars here, twenty six hundred backers, two weeks to go. Uh, yeah, that's Forex. I guess I'm not even. I don't know if I played any Forex games. I guess you did no, no, no. Twilight Inscription, which I don't think is really that. It's a roll and write <laughs> game, but it's just thematically kind of to that. that. Uh, but it's. I guess what are the X's again? I always forget. I forget. Explore, exploit, exterminate, exterminate, something else. Something else. Xylophone. Um, but yeah, it's just a rotating board. It's really cool. You got the planets on there. Looks like a bunch of toys, uh, but that's fun. It really does. <laughs> uh, just, yeah, it's, it looks, seems so interesting to have your ships kind of moving, rotating around the board. I assume, I think each of the planets kind of has resources that you go and get from them. Uh, mm -hmm. Loads of loads of stuff in here in the base Lots game. Stuff. And, uh, some deluxe upgrades as well, extra things, storage, and upgraded planets. But yeah, sadly, probably not going to back this one. Maybe someday. We'll yeah, just... might get a might get a copy of it at some point. Yeah. But yeah, I don't don't think we'll probably back it. Or I won't. Yeah, but yeah, this is another one kind of like Earthborn Rangers that should have a lot of content out there, a lot of reviews. So definitely look into those. Oh, and... they they posted a how to play dice tower did. Ooh, so yeah, there you go. Looked at the uh, page, probably has to do something with this being out now uh, that they would post that. <laughs> probably makes sense now, but I just remember seeing it I'm like what? Just random. Makes a little bit more sense. Um, but yeah, Interstellar bundle with. Last Light base game and expansions, deluxe version is two hundred fifty bucks. So. That's quite a bit. That's a, that's a bit. That's a bit. <laughs> Get the new expand the factions, just ten bucks there. It's like Infinity expansion deluxe, so kind of a deluxe expansion or an Infinity expansion that is deluxe, seventy bucks. Base game deluxe, one hundred and fifty. Which I would Got probably, one, be, probably be what it would be. Probably be what we would go for. Still a lot. Uh, yeah. Sadly. Uh, but yeah, it's a bunch of different Got things. Got a lot of stuff. Yeah, things you can add on. And maybe it's cheaper if you just add on all these individual things and create your own game. <laughs> create your own 4X game that's done in 30 minutes. Say, there bring it on, right? Yeah, we don't have, we couldn't get nearly all the components in these add ons, so it's a much faster game. <laughs> and then shipping based on what you are getting. Probably going to get up to at least 20 bucks. Yeah. I don't know about normal rates. when that's going to be. Uh, I think up there somewhere, did it say September? Go back up to the pledges. August. Oh, so. August. So it should be right around the corner. Right around. It, it ain't May, but something. And then okay. here's the one you were talking about. Tokyo yeah. Highway Rainbow City, which is kind of a re-implementation or expansion at the same time to mm -hmm. Tokyo Highway, which uh, we had. I don't believe we have it anymore. We do not have it anymore. I, I liked it. Neither of you liked it. And you were okay with it. Michaela did not like it. <laughs> but yeah. this may make the improvements she is looking for. It has 3,300 backers. It does. Oh, wow, that surprised me because I hadn't heard of anything to do with this until you found it on some deal or something. Oh, it took you highway. Yeah. Exactly how we came into it, but I hadn't heard of it yeah. at that point. And now I see it's a super successful game. We should have waited. We could have sold it for much, much more. One hundred sixty-three thousand dollars. So this um, pretty much adds different structures. Add a rainbow rainbows. in there. 
uh, an airport, stadium museum. All the stuff we were asking for. Yes, yes. Uh, but it adds new car types, which the cars are actually now rubber, so they will stick <laughs> to the sticks, the popsicle sticks, yes. as you're doing, which means you can go much steeper. It's not just at a certain point they're going to slide off. They are going to stick to that stick. I When I saw that, I'm like, yes. <laughs> Looking at this, I do not know why it was not in the original. Because <laughs> I'm like, okay, there we go. That's what it's supposed to be, man. And I don't care about those other things you added, but that, and then also, I yeah. think... You could add scoring rules, but who cares about actual gameplay here? It, exactly. That is gameplay. Rubber, rubber cars is gameplay. That's true. So that, that's interesting. That probably adds some good stuff to the game, scoring-wise. Yeah. That's not the fun of the game. The fun of the game is stacking right extremely here. steep. <laughs> With Being rubber able stickers. To get those rubber stickers on there. <laughs> on those popsicle sticks. Just making everything stick. I don't know. Maybe you never even tip over. I'm starting to think. That's what I'm starting to think, too. But, Pretty yeah, soon. I would... If you have been debating getting it, I guess I don't remember what the price was. <laughs> debating on the... Depending on the price. Uh, I would not even worry about the original. Get Don't, don't even... Waste your time. It's even get a smaller the- box. Look at that. More well, in a smaller box. Do you need the base game? You do not. You do not. So you can get the oh, expansion okay. set. If you already own it, you can get the expansion set for 3,000 yen, which is $21. Just <laughs> that conversion in my head. You can get the base game and expansion. So pretty much this new thing as a base game for $45, which is probably a little much. Well, not yeah. a little much, but for the type of game it is. Right. The weight of it seems expensive for it, but the components are actually pretty cool and pretty awesome. And you get a lot of them, so I think it's probably a good price for that. Which that is getting 2,300 backers for that to the 870 uh, for just the expansion. And 46 retailers as well. Mm-hmm. Um, if they get to one point five million yen, yes, if they get up a little more, they can get a Tokyo amusement park. If they get to eight million yen, there we there go. You go. Or did they get that? They might have. I don't know. <laughs> I can't do the conversion, but yeah, it, it looks really cool, and it it it, it was tempting. It's tempting because I'm like, oh, this is the perfected version of this I'm game. I'm not getting it. <laughs> and I like the game. I just know you guys I'm don't. Get it. I, I, I still didn't love how the game works. I feel, felt like you could get behind and it didn't, oh, okay. just too difficult. But at least this would take care of some of my issues, some of my major issues with the game. You can take so, that Hail like Mary that. shot. Yes. Possibly pull it off, I think, in this where other ones. You couldn't if it would just be simply impossible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I do like the changes they made. I'll yeah. give them that. But yeah, I will not be backing. Will you be backing this? Initially, this <laughs> seemed like one you would be backing, and then I learned it how did. a little more of possibly the gameplay. I just saw the mechanism. I'm like, ah, maybe not. Uh, this is a Triumph, uh, seventy thousand dollars, seven days to go, six hundred twenty-five backers and turned the Roman Republic from a small city into a vast empire. Which, I was interested when I saw this right I away. That. I'm like, oh, this is a Zach game right here. And I was like, oh, and I'm going to have to look at this hideous board here. And then I got a little closer look at the board and it's art style, kind of like a mosaic. mosaic. And I'm like, that looks really cool. I am excited to play this game and Zach gets it. And then it didn't look like maybe really that much of a Zach kind of game based on <laughs> gameplay. Uh, some of it kind of felt like it, but at the same time, it also felt like a game that Negotiate is probably for a higher player. And bid, persuade, coach, debate, promise, backstab, and emerge triumphant. <laughs> Sadly, this is like among cultists. This yes. is like, just checked all the wrong boxes there. And this yeah. cool miniature. We're never going to see <laughs> the light of day. 
<laughs> but no, I, I thought some of it looked interesting. It probably was more interesting to me than among cultists. Um, yeah. Where this one, you have like a hand of cards, which made me think a little bit of Ankh. Um, and you're bidding with those cards. It's like one to six or something. Oh. Um, and then you can kind of manipulate them as well. And one of them, you can add like another card and stuff. So I thought that did look cool, but I don't, don't think, like you said, that's not really our group style. Yeah. And I think this one's going to play better with a higher player count, like four or five players probably. And that's just not going to be one where we'd get to the table very often. But everything about it looked really good. So a um, little disappointed, but yeah, I hope people can enjoy this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if, if theme wise, if that is as fitting to the, the gameplay. Oh, okay. I feel like that is a much more Euroy type of theme. That's true. Setting and kind of overall look. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Looks good. It's going to be sixty-two bucks for the Kickstarter edition, but if you get the actual good edition, it will be a hundred and thirteen bucks. For all oh, those wow. deluxe meeples and 3D buildings, I think the basic version would be pretty good, too. I think the board looks fantastic. And this mm-hmm. one's actually going for March of 2025. It make- yeah, it takes some time to do it. And I think these ones are, this company does like war games and stuff, so it doesn't surprise me. That's not quite probably our style, but yeah. yeah. And the last one today is Cryptic Nature. We got another one of those move around aboard collect. Legendary creatures, yes. Except here you are not taking pictures of the Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster. You are capturing them and bringing them them to a safe reserve or something. You're protected. Yes, don't don't worry that there's all these people coming in and watching and taking pictures of mm-hmm. you behind bars. You aren't in any danger. <laughs> this is a sanctuary. Look at it. Says it on the sign right there. Sanctuary. <laughs> With all the claw marks underneath it. <laughs> Trying to escape. Uh, it says nearly well not nearly, it's it's nine thousand, short of three hundred thousand. Once you get that close, it's, it's about three hundred thousand dollars. Over 3,000 backers and about two, two weeks, weeks ago. ago. Just the theme, uh, trying to go after all these creatures, it immediately gets me excited about it. I enjoy it makes that. Makes me think all these creatures have to be in an unmatched game at some point. It, they really do. They really do. We got Bigfoot. We need old Nessie. Got Mothman. Got Mothman. Uh, <laughs> no, we really do. We need more unmatched. Come on, get get them going. Get large <laughs> fighters. More large fighters. I'd venture go. I'd venture go. Go tell them. Go tell Restoration Games. You got to be the best of friends. Okay, so this one. I like that Bigfoot there in the A. That's a good, good detail. Uh, you're on a map. You're moving around. I'm gaining things. Getting... Research, getting contracts. evidence, building evidence, building a case. Either sightings or tracks, and then you can either get all the evidence, and know all the stuff about them, and find them, or you can maybe roll some dice, not know as much about them, and kind of luck your way into, into finding them. Which that's what I'm going to go for every time. <laughs> that's what like I was kind just... of wondering. I couldn't tell how likely it was of succeeding. Yeah. I, I wasn't sure it's about fun, that one. But I'm like, if yeah. it's like 1 in 50, that's not as fun. I know mm-hmm. it's 1 in 50, but I mean, like, yeah. it's not quite as fun if it doesn't feel like you're and if it doesn't, gods. If it doesn't hurt you, right? You know, I just do it every time, every turn, try to do that. <laughs> right. I'm sure they've worked in it. <laughs> I would hope it just so. makes me imagine these crazy scenarios. <laughs> but yeah, then you are building out kind of the board here, which, oh, what is that? It's a magnetic board. Sucks the <laughs> tiles right down on the board so they won't be shifting around, at least the bottom layer of tiles. They'll never, like, never ever come off the board either. They so, will never. This is a one time experience, <laughs> possibly. You never know. 
they can work it out. Maybe, maybe you could get some sort of tool. To send Pry wow. those off. I have a second Kickstarter for prying tool. Oh, that'd be, that'd be cryptic prior. That'd be terrible. I don't even want to speak it into into existence. I don't want to. <laughs> Jinx these people, these four fine people, giving them component issues. Um, but yeah, that looks really cool. I, that drew me into it. I mean, it's stupid to be drawn into it by a magnetic <laughs> tile board, but I am. I'm a simple man. I see magnetic tiles. I get excited. I'm in. Um, and then you put little Bigfoots and creatures on top of them, lay it down in some polyomino way. Mm -hmm. Possibly gaining bonuses as well, it looks like. And the board looks really nice. Artwork looks fantastic. Lobster man over there. Good meeples, good tokens. I was pretty interested in this one. Um, I obviously like the theme and the gameplay wise. What I do know, nothing turned me off of it. Mm -hmm. This version is 46 bucks, and with expansions, brings it up to 81. And you can go deluxe and all in and get about 130 bucks. It's mm -hmm. going to be a little much. <laughs> Probably wouldn't go for that. And the base version, probably, I guess, I don't know if you backed it or not. I would be interested in it, but I would probably wait uh, and just see more reviews about it and see if maybe there is some sort of a deal to get it elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I would agree. This is this is one I could maybe see getting sometime after the fact if it's available in retail. Um, it looks interesting, I, and I do like the, the cryptids. <laughs> I like how they kept... I kept thinking they were calling them crypto zoologists, like they were into oh. crypto and they had made a bunch of money. And now they, this was their retirement plan is being zoologists of um, mythical creatures. That can be true, too. <laughs> that is true. That's what they're doing. Yeah, upgrading your skills. That looks pretty cool. And I like this track kind of, I don't know, the influence track, whatever it is, but you can go either way. Uh, so you can move down the initiative track to gain bonus from the dice oh, or move up cool. the track to gain new skills or experience to reactivate new skills for coins. I like that it's not just a one-way track that you kind of forget about throughout the game. It seems a little more interactive. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Fulfill contracts, gain points, general things here and there. Um, where was this? October 2024, so hopefully you can be bad. able to hit that mark. Not too far, but yeah. Seems it's another one of those nature games, but it's it's fun, epic nature. A little bit different. A little bit different. A little bit different take. Yeah. But could have just as easily been nature, <laughs> I think. Could have been trees, birds. So you'd pick this one over the other one we looked at? I, I think so. I think I would. I think I would as well. Yeah, I think I would. I like the main board of this one better. So just on looks wise, I think they're both fantastic. I think the main board puts this one above. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's all the projects we've got this week. Um, yeah, let us know if there's any we missed. Um, let us know what you're backing out of these, which one you're most interested in if you're watching at this point. Uh, also, feel free to subscribe, thumbs up the video. Uh, we always appreciate that. We're very close at the time of filming this to 600 subs, so if we get there, that would be awesome. Uh, but otherwise, uh, I think that is everything we got for you today. Uh, we hope to see you on our other videos, and as always, don't forget to keep on nibbling on our content.